it's a very special feeling to wake up and uh, have nobody else around. Just be by yourself. No other boats, no other people. There's not really very many people. There's really not very many places on the world you can do that anymore. But this is one of them and it's pretty special. Decided to make waffles this morning. I think we deserve a little treat this morning. Yay! 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 Treat! Everybody happy? Thank you, Ryan. Full crew? Very good, thank you. What do we do now? I say we go kiteboarding. Alright. Yay! <laughs> Can you guys help me put the dinghy in? Do it. Yeah, let's get out there. I'm stoked. Okay. I think that's a perfect place. Yeah. Welcome to the Ragged Islands. This incredibly remote island chain is at the very southern tip of the Bahamas. And best of all, we have the entire place to ourselves. We plan to set up camp here and live a simple life in our very own cruiser paradise. No internet, no distractions, just us and our floating home anchored in the amazingly crystal clear water. That's refreshing. Nice job! Yay! All right! Where? There's a shark! Okay, drop the board. How'd you do, Blue? Did okay. I got a couple good runs you in. You did really good. You did like a half mile run. Yeah. But I, I went down and I saw a shark coming towards me. And I don't know, I, I, I'm fine diving with sharks when I have like a mask on my face and I can see them and I can look at them. When I, but when you're just on the surface and you just see them coming towards you under the water, whew, the adrenaline starts pumping. And then what happened? You couldn't so get I up was before that. I screaming for you guys to come get me. And then I just gathered myself and just sent it and then rode super far that way. All of a sudden we looked up and you were just like flying. We're like, oh, oh, she got it. No, it was a shark. It was a shark. Oh, good job, Lou. Now you know that doesn't scare you when you're on the surface and you see a shark coming towards you. I mean, I definitely it. get the initial like, <gasps> and then I think it's just a puppy dog. Like, if anything, it, what it's going to do is going to come up and bump you and be like, oh, you're not food. Like, that's, that's what's going to happen. Unless you're bleeding or spearfishing. And then it might bite you to see if you're good. Yeah. But otherwise, you're just going to get a bump. Yeah. Happy days, brother. Good day, brother. Perfect conditions, man. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. What's been your favorite thing about being here? 
Oh man, the solitude I'd say. It's been a while since we've been kind of alone and just us and it feels like all of a sudden you have so much more time once you don't have connection to the internet and once they're not around a bunch of people. Like I love being around people but there's a lot of energy to always party, always go places, always do things and then you, when you're on your own it's like we just go into a really cool rhythm. That's been my favorite part. We haven't had that in a long time. Look at that! Wow! That's pretty cool! I love exploring islands like this. I don't know, it's just something really cool and it's like no people around and you find all kinds of like beautiful shells and some really cool stuff. And then you can just walk around and explore. I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's gonna take a little walk to the non leeward side of the island, the windward side. I think it's gonna be quite different, but I found some goat tracks. So there must be some goats on the island. That's a goat for sure. Here it is, Kaza. You see it? It's a goat. Is it a goat? Yes, yeah, a goat. No. It is a goat. It looks bigger. No. Really? Am I just tripping out or it's what? It's a goat. <laughs> you pretty much see this on the windward side of most islands. It's just plastic and debris, all sizes and shapes. Deodorant, spoon, marker. Then it all breaks down into these small bits here and just gets smaller and smaller. It never really goes away. Super sad to see all so much plastic. I wonder how much comes from like the hurricanes and them just ripping through and just carrying so much trash out at sea. But I wish we had like another boat, like, or at least parts of Delos that we could dedicate to trash. <laughs> and we could just like pick up so much trash and yeah, I don't know where we could keep it on the boat though. Need a bigger boat. That's the creepiest it's a, thing. It's Take a that. leg. Oh. <laughs> to describe how like peaceful it is and you know you just get some exercise paddle take a walk on the beach it's like what I think I don't know when people think about cruising this is probably what they imagine <laughs> and I feel like I've been missing places like this like we saw so many things like this in the Indian Ocean the South Pacific and in Madagascar but so far, the Atlantic Ocean has just been uh, some cool stuff, but there's always been population, there's always been people, and I didn't really realize how much I missed just exploring deserted islands like this. It's something just so fascinated about it to me. So I'm really very excited to be here and to be able to experience this, it's very cool. Another beautiful day. That's a nice sunset. It's beautiful. What have you enjoyed most about the time here? Just slowing down, having no internet, I think it's been really, really good for us. Yeah. It's, it's amazing when you don't have internet and all of these other like distractions around, how much time you actually have to, act to get some good work done and then to relax as well. Oh, look at that. It's a big ball. Oh, fire. All right, Kaza, it's been a few weeks since we've provisioned. Yes. What is the food situation like on Delos? It's running pretty low on everything. We have one onion. We have no vegetables. We have no fruit. We have a little bit of cheese left, two eggs. <laughs> um, yeah, 
that's about it. So this is the fruit basket. <laughs> Empty. Yeah. So it's time to get creative with the cooking. Yeah, and I want to save some of the easier stuff for the passage in case it's rough, you know, like we have one squash left. But I want to kind of save it so we can do a little more complicated meal so that requires a little bit more effort now. So, so what, what do we have to look forward to tonight? Um, split pea soup <laughs> slash something dull, which I don't really know. And I'm gonna try to make some uh, kind of flatbreads too, like Indian flatbreads. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, that's great! <laughs> I also forgot to mention, maybe shh, don't don't tell the rest of the crew that unfortunately all the split peas were filled with bugs. <laughs> <laughs> they were all dead though, but they luckily I know that they float, so you just put the water and they float and you can like pick them up. But... Should have filmed that. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> Boat life. How's that soup? It's really good. <laughs> Delicious. This Don't. is exactly what I need after a hard day's kite beam. Good spot, huh? Yeah, if it sucks at the other place, we can always come back. <laughs> yeah, true. I think we're gonna try and go to the first spot that we originally intended to double breasted key, which Karen refers to as double beasted key. <laughs> but it's just around the corner, two miles, and uh, it's fairly shallow. So we're just gonna take it slow and um, try not to bump the bottom. Well, that's about it. Maggie to Dallas, Maggie to Dallas. Dallas, Maggie. We have the drone set up and ready to launch. When you guys are ready to pull up the anchor, just let us know, over. Copy that, lifting the hook now. Okay, neutral. We're up, here we go. Good? Yep. The water looks crazy from up there. Yeah, you can see like all the colors. Copy that uh, 4.5, where you guys are at. It's getting a little bit shallower. It's 3.7 meters right here. Is that actually uh, matches exactly with what it says on the charts, over. over. All right, let's, we'll just see how far we can go in. Sounds good, what do you want to stop at? What depth is enough? Uh, I think as long as we have a meter under the keel, we're all right. Copy that. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too shallow in there, so maybe just fall back a little bit into that lighter patch and we can drop right there. Okay, sounds good. Dropping! Alright, Kaz, I'm backing down. There's 
fifteen. Oh, hooked there, huh? What do you think about that new anchor? I love it. I can't believe we went so long without it, to be honest. Like, we never really drug that much uh, because we're probably pretty conservative and put a lot of scope out. But the new Mantis, like, it makes you feel that much more secure, for sure. It locks into, like, anything. Yeah. Look at this water, Keza. It is certainly calm today, though. Yeah. Here they come. Look at these yahoos. Yahoos! What a funny contraption. Oh! <laughs> Senior! Whoa! <laughs> that was a good ride, brother. think back to when we first started learning foiling in Grenada and how horrible we were <laughs> and how much shit we were eating boosting off the board no control having the foil pop up and just having it go crazy like a bucking bronco so it's pretty cool to get it a little bit more under control the learning curve is pretty steep it's quite sketchy when you're not really used to it and even though you're only popping out of the water you know a couple of feet it feels like a lot more when you're right on top of that board the water feels way further away than that <laughs> and Brian's Brian's trying to give it a go now It's unlike anything I've done before. You did real good though. I got a couple of runs. Yeah. But then I come too far out of the water and I'm like, ah! And I just like jump falling over a cliff. It is a lot of fun. It feels literally like you're flying over the water. It becomes really quiet. You're just like. This is the end of the day. Here's music, sunset, Here's time music. lapse. music. We just got a time lapse going on. We've got the drone set up. In advance for the sunset. Bahamas are good. She got plans. Who wants a haircut? Brian's hair is very long right now. It is, it's very true. And I haven't cut it since the wedding, so it's time for a sunset blues barber shop. It's the best barber shop in the world. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. You get a beer, you get a sunset and a beach. I found a friendly lizard. Really? He's come closer to me since I've sat down. Oh, look at him. He's trying to eat the sticks I'm throwing. Let's see if he likes plantain chips. No way. He's right next to you. Making me both pet, baby. Careful what you say. What's his name? Gepetto. 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 Oh, there we go. Service. There we go. And I get to fly my drone. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Another beautiful day, Kaza. Yeah. 
Work is done, computer time is done. And we're going paddle boarding. Would you make me a call if you're too? I don't wanna head out half asleep. Look at this stingray. Holy shit. It was massive. So big. <laughs> Inside your ambition lay your poor voice in the dust Left mine out in the rain Young life full of the rust Will you run, run When the past comes back to life Where those cold steel Hands were sharp as knives And your birth <laughs> It's like a little tub, Kaza. That's awesome. We're coming in. Oh, that's nice. This is how we'll spend the afternoon. Where the air was cold as I saw. You'd think it's winter time or something, the way that we're dressed. Okay. Uh, we're in very, 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 very little light pollution area, so we're gonna go into the beach and get some time lapses of the Milky Way. I'm bringing GoPro only just to see what it's all about for night stuff, the new Hero 7. And Blue's bringing I'm sure a lot of cameras. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. So one of the GoPros that I brought, I'm going to uh, just put behind us and put everything on auto, just see what it does while we're walking around in front of it, setting up our other cameras. What are you working on, Blue? What do you got going? Tell us about your situation. It's always hard with time lapses, because at night, you have to do so many test photos. And I'm not really sure which way the Milky Way is moving right now. Hopefully it's moving higher in the sky. Um, but at some point you just have to like pick your frame and start shooting and then just try not to try to hold back and not mess with it and see what happens. Hope you get lucky. And the Milky Way is definitely bright. There's like zero light pollution out here. It's pretty rare to find these conditions, so I'm glad we got up. Up next on Delos, we leave the Bahamas. We're cutting across some really shallow areas, three meters around here, and we draw 2.1, so it's pretty close. And set sail for our passage to the USA. Ahoy Delos Tribe! We've torture tested these new, long sleeve, sun resistant shirts on Delos, and we're happy to say they totally withstood our abuse. Kaza did the design of Delos Sailing on the Globe, and the stretchy material is oh so comfortable. They're available in men's and women's sizes to fit all and they're printed in limited quantities, so get them while they're hot. You look really like cool. a crazy person under there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that one? Yeah. I'm gonna try paddle kiting. That seems what? like a great idea at the moment. Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot.